Welcome to Books Before Bed, your spot for a nighttime story. The Dinosaurs, St. Patrick's Day. This is a recording for Books Before Bed. It was a cool, crisp morning. The long gray winter was slowly coming to an end, and spring was on the horizon. Topsy woke up extra early today. Something felt different. Even the air smelled different. Topsy decided he would go and see Logan today. He could collect his favorite red berries on the way. As Topsy was going through the forest, he heard a weird sound. It was a very quiet sound, but he could definitely hear something. Topsy spotted the juiciest red berry. He picked it as fast as he could. As he took the berry, he saw a very unusual creature. It wasn't scary, but it was something he had never seen before. It was small and was dressed in green. What are you? asked Topsy. Oh, I'm a leprechaun, the creature said. A lucky leprechaun, he added. What does that mean? asked Topsy. It means you get three wishes, my dino friend, he replied. What? Really? How? Why? asked Topsy, who was rather confused. I have no time to answer questions. Quick, before I change my mind, said the little lucky leprechaun. Um, okay. I wish I had all the berries in the world, said Topsy. Within a second, there was a mountain of red berries. It was so high it touched the sky. Maybe that wasn't a great idea, Topsy had thought to himself. There were only so many berries he could carry, and they wouldn't stay fresh for long. For a second wish, Topsy wished that everything he touched would turn to gold. Okay, if you're sure, said the little leprechaun. Topsy's second wish was granted. It was amazing. He touched leaves, and they turned to gold. He touched the stones on the floor, and instantly they became solid gold. Wow! I'm going to be the richest dinosaur that has ever lived. I need to show my friends, said Topsy excitedly. Topsy went on his way to see Logan, followed by the leprechaun. Logan, Logan, look, look, you won't believe it, shouted Topsy. Topsy forgot that everything that he touched would turn to gold. Topsy forgot that everything that he touched would turn to gold. Logan instantly turned into a solid gold statue. Oh no! What have I done? I thought you were a lucky leprechaun, Topsy said. I am. You still have one wish left. Use it wisely said the leprechaun. Just as Topsy was thinking, Violet appeared. Hey Topsy, hey Logan. What, what has happened? Who is this little Greek creature? Violet asked. Before Topsy could answer any of her questions, Violet got close to Topsy. Too close. Violet was now a very gold version of herself. Topsy was really starting to panic now. Then, a rainbow started to appear. Popsy, you need to come with me now if you want to make your last wish, 
I need to make it to the end of the rainbow by sunset. The little leprechaun ran off ahead of Topsy. Wait for me! I need you! shouted Topsy. Once the leprechaun slowed down, Topsy made his final wish. I wish that I never made the other wishes. Happy St. Patrick's Day! With a puff of green smoke, the little leprechaun was gone. And Topsy let out a sigh of relief. The end of the rainbow was near. It wouldn't hurt to have a sneak peek at what was at the end of the rainbow, he thought. Topsy followed the rainbow to its end. When he got there, he was met with the best surprise. All of his friends were playing at the end of the rainbow. I am so glad to see you guys. I really am the luckiest dinosaur in the land, said Topsy. Aw, Topsy, that is so sweet. We are definitely all lucky to have each other, replied Angie. The end. Thank you for listening.